For centuries, we've looked up at the night sky and wondered, are we alone? Billions of stars, billions of planets, and yet silence. Modern science has transformed that ancient question into a rigorous investigation. The Drake Equation was one of the first serious attempts to estimate how many intelligent civilizations might be out there. It's a simple-looking formula, but each variable holds layers of mystery. How many stars form each year? How many of those have planets? How many of those planets could support life? And, crucially, how many civilizations might develop the technology to communicate? The numbers, depending on the assumptions, range from zero to millions, and yet here we are, listening, watching, waiting. That's where the Fermi paradox punches in like a cosmic riddle. If intelligent life is probable, where is everyone? Shouldn't the galaxy be buzzing with signals, spacecraft, or at least signs of past civilizations? Some argue we're early, or perhaps too primitive to understand the signals. Others propose darker theories. Civilizations destroy themselves before they can reach out, or perhaps they're deliberately hiding, but we're not giving up. Scientists are searching for techno-signatures, evidence of technology beyond Earth. This includes strange radio signals, artificial lights, or even heat patterns from massive structures like Dyson spheres. SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, has spent decades scanning the skies for unusual transmissions, using radio telescopes like Arecibo before its collapse, and now more advanced arrays like Meerkat and Breakthrough Listen. At the same time, we're also hunting biosignatures, chemical clues that life, even if not intelligent, might exist. The James Webb Space Telescope is already analyzing the atmospheres of exoplanets for gases like oxygen, methane, and ozone. Gases that, on Earth, are largely produced by living organisms. Still, silence stretches on. Maybe we're looking the wrong way. Maybe life is stranger than we can imagine. Non-carbon based, not bound by water, or existing in dimensions we don't yet understand. Or maybe the message already arrived and we didn't notice. Every discovery of a new exoplanet, a peculiar signal, a molecule in a distant sky brings us closer to an answer. Until then, the question hangs like a ghost in the void, echoing across light years. Are we truly alone or have we just not learned how to listen?